G'day and welcome to another edition of Ballarat Real Estate TV. I'm uh, joined today by Dominic Morrison from our sales team, so welcome Dominic. Thanks, thanks for having me back Alistair. And I hear it's been a very busy week in, uh, in sales again. In it fact, has. we've had, uh, had some record results uh, this time around. Tell us about that, Dominic. Yeah, it's built on nicely from last week when we said, even though the cold weather in Ballarat, I think we got down to three degrees this week, even though it's been really cold, the results keep coming in. So should we touch on, on the last couple of weeks we've had? Yeah, tell us about so, what's been happening. So we, we added up, I did a bit of um, research today, and in two weeks, the past two weeks, uh, we had sales results that total up to $6.83 million. Wow. So in a fortnight of work, that's $6.8 million of real estate sold in Ballarat. So Been very busy, hasn't yeah, it? Mm. Yeah, we're not just making it up. Things are pretty good. You can always tell when the uh, when the office is busy because the guys are running up and down the stairs and moving through the office in and out. And it's certainly been a pretty active sales team over the last uh, last couple of weeks. are running hot with contracts. That's right. That's right. So it's the way we like to see it, ladies and gentlemen. So it's been really great. And there's been some uh, landmark sales been happening as well, Dominic. I know that uh, Ron has sold the property at uh, 208 Windery Parade, which is a great landmark sale to uh, to get away. And uh, I think he was very pleased, and the purchaser was very pleased with that with that uh, that pro yeah. uh, purchase as well. It, it was great. It was it, it, you know it doesn't come up a lot properties on on the parade, so it's a bit of a landlock there. So we expect a good result, and and Ron uh, certainly got it. It was it was really exciting. Yeah, some, uh, and some other great results. I know you had a property that uh, sold in, uh, in Malbec Street, uh, so you are pretty happy with that one? Yeah, Malbec was a great property, so that sold yeah. within two weeks as well. Um, that was for 310000 so four bedroom uh, brick veneer, probably 70s brick veneer yep. home. Yep, um, Nice big block, so there's some development plans possibly there in the future, mm. so mm. hopefully some nice new townhouses, Ballet Real Estate will have on the market in uh, 12 months time. A very interesting sale. I know that Andy was really happy about the sale that he got in Sturt Street just uh, opposite uh, or near the uh, the golf course there at 1745 Sturt Street. A really great result there for Andy and a happy purchaser again. And we've sold quite a few along that Sturt Street stretch uh, near the golf course. It seems to be yeah, a really popular area yeah, and so. particularly Old Alfred and just moving ahead at mm -hmm. uh, leaps and bounds. Yeah, so you've got all those supermarkets up there now, you've got all the schools, so um, it's becoming its own little, uh, you know, centre of, of activity. It really has been, really has been. And it's amazing to go up there uh, and uh, see the uh, level of uh, traffic moving in and out of that area these days. It's uh, certainly a hive activity around uh, Alfred these days, and, and Luke's is moving ahead really well as well. Mm. But also some great new stock coming to market this week. I know there's a property at 17B Lake Street, a great townhouse there in Lake Street. Tell us about that one, Dom. Yeah, so just around the corner from 208 Wendery Parade. Um, so you've got that, uh, that, that 208 Wendery Parade, which was a huge result. You can get into that. This is a bit of an entry-level property for that area. So it's being advertised at 380 to 420. You can pick up a three-bedroom brick townhouse wow. in that Lake Precinct. So mm. I'm expecting a busy Saturday there, and that's from 1 to 1.30 uh, tomorrow. So super excited about that. Um, and looking forward to seeing a lot of people there. I think you'll uh, you'll have your work cut out for you at uh, at Lake Street in the weekend uh, in that price vicinity and for that type of property in that type of location. Dom, you'll be a you'll be a busy boy. And I think uh, we saw a great property at 1004 uh, Havelock Street, which is a clinker wow. brick home. Yeah, absolutely going to get huge interest isn't, that clinker brick place in, uh, yeah. in Havelock Street, yeah. right in Ballarat North. Mm. Mm. So it's the right type of property, the right type of area. Gee, mm. Andy is definitely going to have his hands full. He's going to yeah. be filling out the uh, inspection forms, flood out tomorrow. So it's just got that street presence, hasn't yeah. it? That beautiful red of the clinker brick and a good size block and three good bedrooms, good mm. living area. It really ticked a lot of boxes, Havelock Street. So, um, look, if you're looking in that particular area and that type of property, that'd be definitely one to get through mm. on the weekend, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm. And there's also one at uh, 242 Lalal Street, Donnie. Tell us about 242 Lalal Street. Yeah, 242 Lalal is a really interesting property. So, over 1,200 square metres in, in Golden Point there, in between Golden Point and Canadian and it's a student accommodation property. So currently returning $600 per week mm. uh, and on the market for $350,000. So it's about a 9% return, forgive the maths, wow. but it's about a 9% return. Um, so the phone calls have really been coming in on that. Mm. And you can pop in and see Misha Lee, who will be doing the open house there uh, tomorrow from 12.30 to one o'clock. So yeah. um, I think uh, we'll, we'll all, all the agents will be getting uh, together on Monday and we'll have some stories to share. Um, and hopefully some sales that we can talk about next week. When, when you look at uh, the kind of uh, kind of returns, the kind of interest rates you can get at the bank these days, and when you compare it to the kind of returns that you're mm. looking at, Lal Street, 
Uh, it's a bit of a no-brainer, is it, when you look at those kind of properties. And you only have to take the lead of the Chinese and see how, uh, how busy they're act and active they are in the, in the real estate market to see that real estate really is a top investment. And Lalo Street would be a great opportunity, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, and you've got the return, but don't forget you're down there in that sort of Mount Clear, Golden Point, Canadian area. Mm. So you've got the constant return, but then you've got the capital growth after 10 years or so. Yep. You, you'll be looking at making a profit down there. That's a wonderful spot, wonderful spot to be. And uh, make sure you keep up to date with all that's happening in uh, real estate in Ballarat uh, by, uh, by tuning in to Ballarat Real Estate TV and uh, even going to our YouTube channel and making sure you, uh, you register there with our YouTube channel for Ballarat Real Estate TV. That way you can keep fully up to date with all the ins and outs of real estate in Ballarat. You'll find us on Facebook as well and uh, we've got some stuff happening on Twitter so it's everywhere mm. and, and I'm really uh, enjoying the... Um, the new Instagram posts that are coming up. The Instagram posts are looking really good, some beautiful photos that we're putting up there. But thanks for watching another edition of Ballot Real Estate TV. Thank you, Dominic, for uh, your in insight and information again. Thanks, and we'll look forward to seeing you again uh, next week at BallotRealEstate.tv.